Today we are out at One Source Trucks in Burkeville, Virginia. The phone number to call or text is 804-928-9099 and the website is our affiliate website which is carnetcars.com. All this information is going to be in the description um, of this vehicle both on here and on my website. So today I'm checking out a really super super nice 2017 uh, minibus, paratransit minibus. I'm going to go through this the best I can by myself because I'm here all alone and I have a little thing on my hand. So some of the features I'm not going to be able to actually show you like the wheelchair lift. I haven't figured out how to hold my camera and work the wheelchair lift um, at the same time. But uh, you'll be able to see it in pictures in multiple positions. You can see that it's out now and that um, it's working. So um, with that being said, let's go to work. This is a 2017 Eldorado minibus. This is a 6.8 liter gas unit. Um, it's got about 124,000 miles. Automatic transmission, obviously. And this is under CDL GVWR. The gross vehicle weight rating is 14,500 pounds. So, there's no other designation on this bus that talks about the passenger capacity. So while it currently has enough seats for 17 passengers, um, I don't see any reason in the world why you can't take two of those seats out and make this thing under CDL. I'm gonna get up on that AC unit. You can hear that it's running. I've got it turned on. It's not super hot here today, but you can, uh, you can hear that it's running. We have driven this unit probably about 30 hours, hundreds if not a thousand miles. It's got great like new tires. There is the front of the frame. I'm going to get up underneath the undercarriage. This unit came from Alabama. We drove it home. Y'all, yeah, it's like 22 hours straight. Just blazing down the highway. Engine's running. Apologies, it's a little dusty. I haven't had a chance to wipe it down real good yet. But, let me just see how clean this is in terms of no rust, no corrosion. The engine's running, quiet, just like it should. Front grille and headlights in excellent condition. All the glass on this bus is in excellent condition. You've got nice big oversized, but not in the way, mirrors. A lot of times on these units, the first place that you'll see like rust or damage or wear is on these entry steps. And you can see these are just in great, great condition. Let me get up under here and show you. This is a truck from the South, y'all. This is not a Northern unit. This is a bus that has probably never in any of its life seen snow. Right. Nice big comfortable stairs. Plenty of entry handles. Front cockpit. Glove box. Back sandwich shareholder. Here are your controls. Rear AC which is on and working. Radio, which sounds really good, actually. I mean, that's real nice, y'all. Normally on these buses, the speakers are all staticky and barky, but not on this one. There's your, and there's a glare, I apologize, but there's your, uh, controller that's just your standard emergency brake is engaged parking brake what do you want to call it and i don't have my seatbelt on obviously we've had this bus running for a little while so i want you to see all your gauges right exactly where they're supposed to be it does have cruise control it's got a tilt wheel I don't know. i'm fighting glare and heavenly one hand y'all this is not as easy as it normally is but i'm gonna get through it 
Here's your driver door. Nice big oversized pocket. Right, let's see if I can turn this guy off. All right. I didn't turn that rear AC off so that I'm not trying to fight over that. All right, so here is the back of the unit. Seat belts for all passengers. And I need to measure the inside of this thing. But y'all, this is tall. I am five feet tall, I am in heels, and I am not even close to touching the ceiling. So, huge exaggerated headspace. And the way that the roof line is on this, this gives way more overhead space than um, I normally see in this style bus. Each one of your little windows has the ventable little slide on the top. Seat belts for all passengers. And like I said, currently right now, the way this bus is set up is 17 passengers. So you either have two wheelchairs or you have the little seat here. Um, this guy, this little seat is super easy to use. I actually think that I can do this one handed. Um, so to flip it down, it's just one little lever there. The seat comes down to that position. And then one more little lever. That brings it up to there. So apologies for that. Not as smooth as I like to do it, but like I said, I'm here on my own, doing the best I can. Do have upgraded LED lights, upgraded uh, Jensen speakers. There is your rear Pro Air AC unit that has been blowing nice and cold. Your ceiling, which is in great shape. No stains or rips or tears. Doesn't look like it's ever been smoked in. Doesn't have any foul odors. Um, here is your wheelchair lift. Your tie downs, your shoulder straps. It looks like we have all of the necessary um, safety gear for securing your wheelchairs and such. The only thing wrong with this unit is that it needs some new window latches. Those are on order, should be in any day now. Get, I'm trying to give you an overall view of it here. I dropped my little state inspection report. But you can see there's no rips in the seats, there's no tears, there's no graffiti written on the back of them. All the seat belts are here and work. This unit was just Virginia State Safety Inspected, um, which is a pretty rigorous inspection. They go through belts, I'm sorry, um, brakes and suspension and lights and pretty much anything on the bus has to work. We take it a step further and we go through um, belts and hoses and fluids and AC and radio and all those things. Um, here's something I like about these buses. You're going to see there's a track there and that's a track on the floor. It's covered um, by a little rubber kind of grommet so it's not a trip hazard. But that's all the way throughout the bus on both sides. What that means is that you can kind of customize the spacing on the seats. So you can unbolt there and you can unbolt there and you can slide them forward to any position that you want because underneath this grommet is a track that goes pretty much the length of the bus. So if you wanted to take a couple seats out and move the seats around, you can see there's your slider on the floor and there's your track on the side. Um, and that goes almost the whole length of the bus. So kind of a cool little feature that if you did want to take two seats out, you could spread them out. As you can see on this side, you have lots of space between um, the passengers and that little block. Here on the driver's side, it's a little closer. So somebody decided to kind of customize that a little bit. You know, I don't even know what's in here. Let's see. Let's see what we got in here. Well, that's nice. Little access panel there. Let's see. So your door here is controlled by a switch on the dash. So nice, easy to use power door. 
Um, this controls lights, which you can see they're off, and now on, and off, and on. And then this is a heater controller, which I don't know if you can hear that, but it clips on. So I'm going to go out and do one more quick walk around. Uh, no dents, no uh, indications of paint or body work on this unit. Um, clean title. And let's see, I'm gonna try to get up underneath the chassis so you can see this too. Cause it is super, super clean. Like, there's your frame rail. Like, you can even read, there's like stickers. I don't know what it says, cause my eyesight's not that good. But you can see that this is a super clean, rust-free rig. Back tires, nice and thick tread, dual rear wheel. That's always a bonus. You've got your uh, Braun Mobility Lift here in the back. So overall, super, super nice unit, y'all. Um, we are out in Burkeville, Virginia at One Source Trucks. Um, that's 1713 East Patrick Henry Highway, which is Route 360, Burkeville, Virginia, 23922. Um, all of the lights work, too. Ordinarily, if that's someone else here helping me, I would show you, like, brake lights and blinkers and hazards and things like that. Um, but since I'm on my own and it's such a nice day, I want to go ahead and get this, oh, I want to go ahead and get this, uh, video done. But you can see no rips, no tears, no stains, no cracks in the seats, no cracks in the dash. I mean, just overall a super, super clean, nice, nice, nice ace unit. Um, like I said, this is a 14.5 GVWR. It's going to be sideways, but it'll be weird if I flip it, but. 24 feet. This bus is measured around for 24 feet. All the other measurements are going to be in the ad, which is at carnetcars.com. If you have any questions, comments, concerns, you want to come out and take a look at it, schedule a test drive, buy it, schedule a FaceTime, because you have specific questions maybe I didn't address, um, give us a call, 804-928-9099. Call or text. And if you have any other commercial equipment needs, let us know. I keep uh, about... 80 trucks in inventory and I have anything right now from uh, light duty dump trucks, medium duty jump, jump trucks, uh, tandem axle and grapple dump trucks. I've got a digger derrick, bucket truck, crane trucks, uh, bigger buses. So I've got up to, I've got up to 44 passengers. So I've got anywhere from 15 to 17 to 23 to 32 to 44 passenger buses. I've got fire trucks. I've got garbage trucks, you name it, and it's out here. So come on out, check us out, let us know how we can help. Again, the phone number is 804-928-9099.